Hey guys, welcome to Get It Done with Gabby. We are on to our next marathon video. If you guys are new here and this is the first marathon you're watching, um, I have given birth to this little Biebs. And uh, so we are in marathon mode. I have compiled a bunch of what I feel are interesting videos and made marathons of them for you guys so you have something to watch while I'm on maternity leave for however long I can get videos pre-posted for. So today we are doing an extreme declutter organization marathon. We're at about two hours of content in this video and uh, oh man, we get to it. It's all, it's all over the place. We declutter pretty much every space in my house and then we're off in, up in other people's business. So we are decluttering a ton of stuff in this video. So if you need some decluttering motivation, organization motivation, whatever it is, or you just wanna hang out and watch me clean stuff, uh, this is the video for you. So I will keep it short and sweet. If you are new to the channel and enjoy decluttering and organization content, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and let's get into this marathon declutter. Okay, so here is the first side that I'm gonna work on. So I don't know, a few months ago, Matt and I actually swapped sides, like whose sink was whose. Why do we even do that? There was a reason that we swapped sides. I can never remember. We did that with, <laughs> oh my God, my mind is chaos. We did that with our bed sleeping situation too. We like swapped sides last year and neither one of us can remember why. But there must have been a good reason. <laughs> Either way, we did that with our sinks too, and now I can't remember why we swapped sinks. Anyway, he's on this side now, but like this is all my stuff, and then all of his stuff is on the other side, which is probably fine because like I said, in a couple weeks we're moving anyway, but we're in here now, so I'm just going to swap everything around after I declutter everything. So I think what I want to do is declutter as I pull things out because obviously we're going to pull it all out because we're switching sides but I'm just going to like go through it as as I pull it out. Okay, I've made a gigantic mess, uh, but I think it will be easier to unload the other cabinet as well. Or maybe I can try and like pull that stuff out and scoot it in here, like in one motion. Oh, there's just not enough room. Let's see. Um, let's try this. What do I know is in here that needs to move? Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Oh, but now you guys can't see what's going on. Ah, it's chaos. Um, okay, come this way. <laughs> and when I said this was Matt's side, what I really meant was, um, and this is also my side. <laughs> oh, geez. I haven't taken a look at this in a hot minute, as you can tell. I keep some cleaning supplies in here. We have Matt's extra stuff. Okay, um, how do we want to do this? Ooh, this is a giant scrunchie. Nice, I forgot about that. Okay, so I'm just gonna do the same thing that's what I did on the other side and just start taking things out and decluttering as I go.
Oh my gosh, you guys. So I know these are like crazy popular right now, but truly, uh, if you don't have these, order them. I think it was like 15 bucks on Amazon. Um, if I remember, I'll link them for you guys. These freaking things, it's like outrageous that they are just now popular. <clears throat> They're for when you wash your face so the water doesn't drip down to your elbows and all over your body. It's such a simple fix and it works so well. Like, <laughs> If I were to recommend anything, like right this moment, it would be these stupid things. And they're so cute. Like you get a pack of four and I have all of these cute different like colors, but they also have like neutral ones too, if you're not feeling jazzy like this, but <clears throat> they're freaking amazing. And like, I'm going to give some of these to my mom and my sister because I do not need four pairs of them, but like freaking genius. Highly recommend. Okay, so before we move back to the other side, I'm gonna start putting my stuff in this side just to see how it's gonna fit. Start with my makeup, pop it right there. This is gonna go, I used to have the makeup that didn't fit in this little tray just kind of sitting to the side, but I have found that it works better if I have it in one of these. So I put my nail polish in there too, but it's got my eyeshadows and then bronzer and blush and then I can put this thing in here too. I'm thinking I'll just put that directly behind. I don't wear makeup very frequently so I think that will work out pretty well. And then right in front we have our like q-tips, flossers, little pad things, all that kind of stuff. With that said, this will probably stay in here too. I don't have anything in this middle section, and I'm not sure I need it for anything right now. We'll see. Let's see how the rest of this goes. Okay, I have another one of these as well, which I'm going to keep my hair ties in. I also have this unruly curling iron that the cord is always just like flapping in the breeze. So it is what it is. Should be chilling. These expired in 2021. So seems like we missed our chance on these. So I used to keep some level of back stock in here apparently, but like I have a whole other cabinet in the hallway I could use for this. So like I think I'm going to put all the back stuff, back stock stuff. Well, maybe I could just keep it in here. Ooh, I'm having a hard time making decisions today. Holy moly. Okay, we're back on my side. I changed a couple things. So I put this little shelf back on top of the little makeup drawer thing. Um, I put my nail files down here with clippers and things. And then I just put like the little wrist things that I'm using like right now, right here, so they're easier to grab and I don't have to like dig in this necessarily. And then my hair clips uh, right here. And then I'm thinking I'm gonna move 
the mirror and the curling iron and brush stuff just onto the back there. It would be nice if I had a little tray just to keep it like off of the bottom, but that's not super necessary. So uh, the curling iron can just stay there. Okay. All right. I feel like that's everything. All right. Let me show you the afters. And then I'll show you the pile of all the stuff that I'm getting rid of. Alrighty, so here is my declutter pile. It's pretty much all trash, uh, except for we have some hair ties that I have not used this type of hair tie in many many years so i'm going to get rid of these and then this little matching like tooth toothbrush holder and soap thing i have different ones now so i'll probably just put those in a donate box and then that's just a pile of trash so i think that's everything oh and then let me spin you around this is my pile of stuff that's going to go somewhere else uh this was just taking up too much space it can go in our other closet and then this it's obviously not summer so we don't need it out right now and then this okay here's something i do not recommend getting <laughs> it's a cool idea i'll give you that these little hair sproingy things well the idea of having heatless waves is fantastic uh feels like you're ripping your hair off when you pull them through here half the time your hair gets stuck and it hurts and then it takes so long and I have thin hair like I don't have a lot of hair and this still takes like 20 minutes granted I've only done it a few times so I'm sure you get quicker at it but honestly it's just not worth it so this is kind of a disappointment I'm gonna hold on to it for a little while longer and see if I use them anymore but these will likely be donated as well which is a shame but ah, if you're not patient and it's not that important to you I would not recommend these. Okay, I was really hoping I'd have the energy to do another spot today, but I am fading fast here. So I'm gonna clean up my little bathroom explosion and then I'm gonna go lay down. Frick, man. Ah, colds are inconvenient. <laughs> All right, guys, it is the next day. I am definitely feeling a notch better today so we are on the right track health wise but I decided that the space I want to tackle today is going to be the laundry room and so what I was thinking that I could combine with this decluttering is packing up my brother's stuff as I go because he has some stuff in the laundry room like an ironing board his iron and I think his Roomba's in there too. Anyway, we have a couple things of his that we can totally pack up because he's leaving in a couple weeks. So I'm gonna do that as well as I move through these decluttering spaces. Uh, that way he knows that all of his spaces are getting cleared out. So he knows he doesn't have to go in there and worry about what's stashed in there. So I figured that would be kind of a good combo to do. So this is like a declutter and pack situation now. Uh, but the laundry room is directly across from my daughter's room and she is napping right now So we're gonna stealth mode it. So I'm probably not gonna talk until I'm completely done in there. So, uh, let's go do some sneak decluttering
Okay, so here are the piles that I brought out of the living room. We have my brother's Roomba, his iron and ironing board, and then a couple uh, delicate pouch thingy-majigs. And then that's just one of those reusable bag things. I figured I'd put some of his stuff in there. And then declutter-wise, we have these parts from my old steamer, and that steamer is broken and I got rid of it, so these literally work for nothing. Um, and then I have all these like old floor mats from our car that I was going to use for like cat scratching carpet but they hate this carpet and they can't like get their nails into it so it doesn't work at all for them so I'm just gonna get rid of those and then these we have designated as meat smoking towels if you have any experience smoking meat you sometimes have to wrap the meat up and keep it toasty I don't know what I'm talking about anyway these are Matt's meat smoking towels. <laughs> Okay, third space we're going to declutter is the game closet. Um, I'm not sure how much decluttering there is to do in here, but my brother does have games in the game closet, so I'm gonna pull out all of his stuff from in here. And hopefully I can declutter a couple things. We'll see. It's very packed. It's not cute in here. <laughs> Okay, so we got the closet decluttered. There's all of my brother's games. Uh, he had some headphones in there. Um, I think that was all from him. He didn't have very many games in there. It's mostly our, our stuff. <laughs> I have a lot of puzzles. I'm a puzzle queen. But I am proud of myself. I'm decluttering all of these books. I've had a really hard time over the years trying to let go of my art school books. But, uh, I turned a corner today. I was ready to get rid of a lot of them. And I have tried to declutter these like at least five times now. And uh, I finally pulled them. So it's happening. And then other stuff I took out. I'm going to move these towels downstairs because I need more cleaning rags downstairs. I don't need them all up here. So I'm going to take those down. And then I pulled these two things because, you know, your girl needs hobbies with all this free time I have. 
but I wanted to start working on my um, coloring book again because I bought a couple of them when freaking COVID started and I love doing these coloring pages. I just, I have them in the closet so I forget that I have them. So I'm gonna move it out so that I can see it, so that I'll actually use it. And then I also brought out another puzzle because Matt got me that puzzling mat thing and I finished the puzzle that he got me. So I'm gonna start working on this one. Thank you. The queen's already on it. Um, not open it. Nope, we're just putting it in the box. Packing it up. Mommy, to help you? Yep. What are you helping me, Mom? Yeah. Oh, too long. Okay. Can you grab that apples to apples? I want apples now. I want apples now. Oh, you want apples now? Okay. <laughs> okay. That's all we need to do. Do you want to go get some lunch now? I want apples to apples. Apples to apples. All right. Alrighty guys, we are on to our final day of decluttering. It is Friday. We're going to do two more spaces. I was trying to decide what was the priority, like what spaces needed this the most. And uh, Oh, I don't want to do this, but it's the clothes. I need to go through the clothes. It is not a big enough of a disaster that it requires its own video. I know a lot of people do like top of the year wardrobe closet declutters. Um, my situation is not that extreme. I don't have that many clothes. As you can see, Matt and I share this closet and a dresser. So like, that's all we got. There's not a lot to go through, but I do find it prudent to go through my clothes every now and again because, I mean, it's just natural to hold on to things. So we are going to go through my half of the closet. I'm not going to do mats. I will have him glance at those uh, when we're moving our clothes into the master closet. But uh, like I said, it's not like we don't have the space. I just feel lighter if I only have things that I'm wearing. So we're going to go through the closet. We're going to go through the dresser. Honestly, I don't think there's anything in the dresser that we don't need, but I will I will go through it But uh, for now, let's start with the closet and just see if there's anything in here that I want to offload Okay, here is my half. I don't think I'm gonna take everything out I think I'm just gonna go one at a time and see what I have Okay, starting in the corner. Oh, I'm gonna take empty hangers out, too Let's see what we got back here Okay, so I keep sports clothes in the very back corner because I don't attend a lot of sporting events. Um, tonight we're going to go to a restaurant and watch a Suns game, so like I'm wearing my Suns gear. But other than that, I have like a Diamondbacks shirt. Okay, so here it doesn't belong back here. This is a zip-up sweatshirt that I cropped, but I need to sew the bottom back on, so I'm actually going to take this out so I do it because I have not been wearing it because the bottom is not on there. So I should probably fix that. Here's another point of issue with my clothes. I've talked about this before, but I have a hard time decluttering clothing that are family members. So this used to be my grandpa's jean jacket. And um, it's like it's too baggy to rock right now. I got this when I was pregnant with Parker. And it works really good when you're giant and pregnant, but I don't know. I mean, it's not that bad. It's just like oversized. I just never reach for it. Maybe I should. I don't know, what do you guys think? It's like, it's very baggy. So it's definitely like a, a vibe, but I feel more confident in it when I've just got like a huge prego belly. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not getting rid of it. I just rarely ever wear it. So, I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I have a problem getting rid of clothes. So this, today is not the day to get rid of this item. This is another uh, grandpa jacket. Um, but I do wear these. 
I've got this one too. This little Chevy, Chevy Heart of America. Oh, Heartbeat of America jacket. Maybe I'll wear this tonight. That's kind of like a jean jacket thing. This too. This I will wear. It's another one of my grandpa shirts. It's oversized, but I do wear this now because um, I can just like wear it with leggings and a tank top or something and it's pretty cute. Okay, this I constantly noodle with. The only reason I don't get rid of it is because it's Lululemon. It's the only Lululemon thing that I own. I got it as a gift. I don't like... I don't know. Like, it doesn't have a hood and the saggy thing I don't like. I need to let it go. Let it go. Hey, look, I got rid of one thing. Progress. But to be honest, I've gotten rid of that multiple times. <laughs> I tried to give it to my mom and then she gave it back to me. So it actually has to leave this time. This I'm going to let go. I don't reach for it very often anymore. This little vest thing I love. I don't know if puffer vests are cool or not, but I love this thing. Okay, so I have two Harry Potter sweatshirts, but I absolutely refuse to get rid of them. <laughs> I just won't. So this is one of my favorite shirts. It's a Mosimo Supply Co. like partial button down. It's like this kind of fabric. It's like that long Johnny type fabric. I love this and I cannot find a shirt like this anywhere. If you guys know where I can find a shirt like this, please let me know because I want more of these. I want like five of these in different colors and I cannot find one like this. Oh, and <laughs> I got this as a hand-me-down from my stepmom, so I don't even know where she got it from. So who knows? Okay, this I need to try on. I haven't worn this in well over a year. I thought I would wear it this winter, but I never went for it. The problem is it's a matching set, so it goes with like the matching like orangey sweatpants, which is why I keep not getting rid of it, but like... I don't like the cut of the top. Like I just... whatever this cut is I don't like. But it's comfy, but like I never reach for it. <sighs> what do I do? I'm just gonna let it go. let it go let it go it's been over a year it's been over a year so that's plenty enough time to give me a chance to wear it and me not wear it okay this shirt i am ready to get rid of it is the most wonderful material i got it from target but it's too short it's too short i don't like the way it lays on me goodbye i think it's time to get rid of this i really like having some of these bodysuit things to wear uh with jeans but this color just looks so weird up against my skin. I thought if I had dark hair, it would like fix the problem, but it's still like, it just doesn't go with my skin tone. So goodbye. This is my grandpa's, but I think I'm actually willing to let go of this because I, I've had this for months now and I can't think of a, like a cute way to wear this. It's just a big man tank top and I just, I'm, I'm not going to wear it. So we'll get rid of that one. I don't reach for this tank top anymore. I have a black one that's the exact same like style as this. They came as a two pack, but I don't reach for the pink one anymore. But I love the black one. <sighs> My mom handed this down to me because she didn't want it anymore. And I thought I would wear it as like comfies, but I have plenty of other comfies. So we'll say goodbye to that. And I just got this jean jacket from like an estate sale an estate sale that was going on across the street from where we live and it's a like a medium sized jean jacket so it fits me a lot better than that other one like it's still like got that oversized feel but it just like I think it it fits a lot a lot better this is one of my favorite flannels I guess it's not a flannel whatever over shirts to put over anything it's been so handy love this thing I thought I was gonna like this, but it's just a little too wide. Like it's too wide for me, so it doesn't fit right. So I think I'm gonna say goodbye to this. Ooh, I forgot about this. This is a Polaris jacket. See, I have, I have three of these button down jackets for my grandpa, but I freaking love them. Okay, I think that's it for my closet. I actually got rid of more stuff than I thought. Let me count how many pieces I got rid of.
Okay, I offloaded nine things. That was more than I thought I would get rid of. So cool, it was worth going through. Let's go through the dresser now. I have two Hogwarts sweatshirts, so I have to have two Hogwarts sweatpants. There's my justification for why I have to. Okay, cool. Uh, that is everything for like clothes I wear now. We have one more space to do for today, and then we're gonna call it good. Um, what was my total amount of offloaded things? Nine from the closet, four from the dresser, no, five from the dresser, but one's like actual trash because it's just like used paint clothes. So what was that? 14? 14 items? So not a huge, huge thing, but like I said, I don't have that many clothes. That was everything. So pretty good, I'd say. Whoops, it's the next day. <laughs> Ran out of time yesterday to do my final spot, but we are here today. And I decided that I want to do my mom's closet because I store a lot of stuff in here. So I wanna go through it, see if there's anything I can get rid of and clear out my brother's stuff because I've also been using this space to store all of his stuff for packing and whatnot. So, um. It definitely needs a cleaning in here, but I wanted to start with the closet because I know there are a couple things in there that I need to get out. So let's see what we have in there. And my assistant is here today helping me. <laughs> okay, first up on this side, these are the throw pillows that go with my brother's couch. So those gotta go. <clears throat> okay. Let's see, next up is my paint stuff, which I am going to leave up here for now um, just to see what all I have of paint stuff. But I think it'll be good up here on the top shelf. So let's just scoot it all over. This is where I was storing a bunch of my brother's stuff. It's like end tables for his couch, like in the living room, but we have end tables out there already. So I just stored them in here. So we got to take these down and get those packed up for him. Oh, holy heck, that is heavy. Okay, I got to scoot you guys back so I don't knock you over. Okay, that cleared up like the entire top shelf. So I think I'm going to move all of my art stuff up there at the end of all this. But now I want to focus on what's on the bottom. Why are you screaming? <laughs> Just for fun. <laughs> okay, I think most of what's over here is my painting stuff, but I'm gonna pull it out to see. <laughs> Oh, I forgot about all this. Matt and I have a bunch of like coins. <laughs> oh, are you in this too? And um, we started rolling them so we could take them to the bank because the bank won't take your freaking coins anymore unless you roll them. So we just need to take these in. <laughs> Beeps. Oh, goodness gracious. Gabby. Yeah. Gabby.
I'm gonna start with all of Parker's toys that I like to stash in here. So slides and bikes, all of it's gotta go. Okay, um, I'm gonna pull the comforter off my mom's bed and wash that because not only have I been stacking things all over it, but Parker <laughs> rubbed her snotty nose all over it one day and there's just like, there's some goobs on it. <laughs> guys I think we're done in my mom's room it is pretty dang clean in here I'm currently in the process of washing the comforter but this room is done yay okay let me show you all the stuff we took out of here okay so here is the chaos that is out in the dining room now we have my brother's vacuum Christmas tree computer stand throw pillows, end tables, extra boxes for packing. There's some kitchen stuff in that one. And then we also have extra boxes down here. And then we have another kitchen box and some donate stuff from me. So we have a whole, whole lot of stuff to move out of here. But I'm not Okay, so everything that I wanted to pull out is pulled out. We have just so many things. I wanna start by going through uh, Parker's old clothes. So when she grows out of something, I just throw it in a box in her closet, and then at a time like this, I will decide if it's a save item or a get rid of donate item. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And then uh, I guess just kind of figure out where I want all the rest of this to be.
Okay, next I want to make some space in her wardrobe for this like giant stack of books because we've been reading like paper books to her in the evenings. Uh, so I want them all out so she can pick what she wants us to read. But obviously her wardrobe is like stuffed to the absolute brim right now. So I'm going to pull out all of like the summer clothes like um, shorts and stuff like that just to see if I can make an empty shelf for all the books. Uh, and uh, we'll see what we can come up with. So let's do that.
So here's my fridge completely emptied out. As you can see, it just needs a good wipe down. It's not like super horrible, like I said before, but definitely needs wipe down. I am using this Mr. Clean all-purpose cleaner diluted with water. That's what I use to clean pretty much everything. I love this stuff. It works amazing.
So Parker woke up from her nap early this day while I was trying to get all this done. So she decided that she wanted to help me sort through all of the fridge stuff. So you'll see her cute little self helping me put things back in the fridge. Okay, welcome to the chaos that is this bookshelf. It's really gotten cluttered over the past few months. It's like it's literally half Parker stuff on the bottom and then half like books 
decorations and just random crap that Matt and I shove in there. So um, here's what I'm thinking. So upstairs, I have that shelving unit in my parents' bedroom. I think I'm gonna decorate it with our vintage cameras and phones. I think those will look really nice on those stands. So then I'm gonna move those upstairs. I'm gonna go through all the books and declutter. I'm, I don't think there's really too many books to get rid of at this point. We've really like narrowed down our collection to like what we absolutely are gonna keep forever. Um, and then I think I wanna move all of Parker's books out here. I have them currently stored in the bathroom under the sink but I think I would rather them just be out here. So I think that's the general game plan for this area. We're on to Parker's section, and I'm not exactly sure how I want to do this. I think maybe I'll dedicate two of the shelves to books, and then the third one for random stuff. Like, I was using this for toy rotation, but I'm thinking I might change that up. But I'm not sure. I don't know what I want to do. Okay, I'm just gonna start by pulling everything off except for the books and then go bring the rest of her books out here because then I'll have a better idea of what I'm working with. got a lot of books to go through let's see so I'm thinking I'm gonna do books here and here just because those are more at her eye level and then this will be like shoes and random stuff at the very bottom okay Okay, I'm not going to be too picky about how these are lined up because she's just going to pull them down like over and over again. So um, I'm going to look through them quick and see if there's any that we want to donate and then I'll put the rest of this stuff back on the shelves because that really didn't take up as much space as I thought.
Okay, you are in the position. Let's see if you can see what I'm doing. Ooh, I might have to go get a step stool. I don't want to. Ugh. All right, well, I just gotta get started. I think that's all there really is to do. Okay, I just went inside to see if there was like any sort of organization happening out here and there's not. She says it's um, pure chaos. So I think uh, the plan is that I'm gonna pick like a small section. I'm gonna lay it all out on the ground here and open up the boxes and stuff so that I can come out and look at them very easily and be like, keep, donate, trash, and we could start getting some sorting going on. But I don't wanna overwhelm her, so I'm not gonna pull everything out. We're just gonna do one section at a time. So I really have no idea where I wanna start. So I think I'm just gonna randomly pick like straight back and do that. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's start pulling stuff out.
Okay guys, I had the very first pile laid out. I just took stuff off those very front two shelves just to keep it simple, help her get into the flow of things. So we, I just did two rows of stuff. I did this row right here and this row back here. So she can just walk down the middle and hopefully just bam, 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 make some decisions. But uh, we'll see what kind of a mood she's in today. <laughs> okay, I just went through the first section. Didn't get rid of much, which I kind of assumed would happen. She has to like work into it to get going, which I feel like that's a lot of us when we declutter is like, once we get into it, it's like a thousand times easier. But I will show you her piles after we do another couple rounds here so they're more defined. But I think we're gonna work on this shelf next. So let's start taking this apart. next round of stuff there is a lot of keepsake type things going on in this pile so I suspect this one will be difficult as well but we will see all right guys bear with me there's some lawn mowing action going on but here's where we stand um, we have a keepsake pile here which I need to bring inside this is a whole giant pile of books that needs to go inside uh, more keepsakes um, and then we have empty boxes this is all cat stuff that they want to keep. And then this is our trash pile over here. So not looking too bad. And then we have a random chair they want to keep. Shelf we're gonna use for organization. This stuff over here is other people's stuff. And then we have, this is all outdoor decoration stuff. So we have Christmas decorations, uh, fall Halloween decorations and then spring decorations. That's a maybe pile. <laughs> That's stuff for kids. And then that is a table insert. So that is what we're working with right now. And unfortunately, it looks like it's about to rain, so I need to hurry up and bring everything back inside, which kind of slows my roll. So we'll see if we can like keep working around and through the rain, but I'm not sure exactly how this is gonna play out.
Okay, so I've took a little departure. If you couldn't see me packing all those books, um, I keep finding boxes of books. So I'm trying to collect them from all the random places they're in so that we can go through them all because I don't think they're aware of like how many books they have in boxes. Unfortunately, I think a neighbor or somebody keeps dropping off boxes of books that they're done with thinking that they will want them or use them. And so all it's doing is creating more clutter. So we're going to try and cut off the pipeline on the books because they have more books than they will ever know what to do with. And, uh, and we're just going to try and deal with all the random ones that are in here. So there are a bunch behind me all stacked in there. I've been pulling them down and taking them inside so they can go through them. But uh, I can't get to the stack anymore. So I'm going to have to like pull some things out. So we're just jumping right back into things and I'm making more piles for her to go through. So like I did in the last video, I'm just kind of lining things down this aisle so she can walk through and see everything really clearly of what she has stored. A big part of what I was trying to figure out this day is exactly what sort of categories we're working with. So I knew there was a sentimental items category but I had no idea how big it was going to end up being because I kept finding boxes of sentimental items in all different locations, obviously stored in here at different times. Uh, so I'm just trying to get a sense of the categories so that we can organize them better. A reoccurring theme that we've been running into while going through all of her stuff is that she has lost things in her storage spaces that she didn't even realize she had and it's stuff that she would like to use. She just didn't even know where it was. She forgot she had it. And so we're trying to organize this in a way where like items are together and it's all labeled and she knows exactly where all of her items are. We just finished our first round of decluttering for today and these are all the games and other random items she decided she wanted to donate. So I'm just boxing those up and I'm gonna throw them in the car so we can take them to the Goodwill. And uh, my little baby queen came out for a, a quick visit, but we are back to it and we are unloading some more things off the shelf so that we can do another round of decluttering. One thing I did want to mention and apologize for again is you guys asked to see the piles of things that we ended up getting rid of and I did not do that again. I am so sorry. I, I will try and mention like when I am packing things up to put in the car for donation, but uh, just a big slip up on my part this time.
So at this point, I had kind of started getting an idea of where I wanted to place things on this back shelf. The middle shelf was going to be sentimental items because, as I said in the previous video, we are not even going to open or go through those boxes this round. We are just trying to get it all in one space so we know where all of it is. Um, the top shelf is going to be other people's stuff. So again, we're going to label these and make sure they have very specific destinations, but the top shelf is for uh, stuff that she is storing for others. That will also help when these people come to get their stuff that we know exactly where it is and it has their name on it and it is just good to go so it can get out of this garage space. Uh, another thing that I wanted to mention, I was filming on my phone this day. If you remember from my last series uh, with the shop attic clean out, I <laughs> ran out of memory card space and this was the afternoon of that same day. So we have a little bit of phone footage but in a couple minutes, we'll switch back to the good camera. So yeah, that's why we're a little fuzzier than usual. Alrighty, so we are on to a new day. As you can see, I'm a little covered in dust because I came from the shop. But today I wanted to tackle this little section of the garage because I wanted to get to the shelf that was behind this big pile stash of stuff. This is an area where a lot of things got dropped because it's right by the doorway into the garage. So uh, as people would come and go, this is where things just got stacked up. But while I'm working this morning the owner isn't actually there at the house with me so my uh, setup pile gets a little bit bigger than I was wanting to do but I wanted to make a lot of progress today because it was gonna be my last day there so uh, I just went with it pulled everything out laid it all out and uh, we'll get through it
so here is the final pile of stuff we had to sort through. It's kind of a mess. It took us like an hour to go through everything, but we did get through it. I was so proud. We got rid of so much stuff. But now after going through everything, it's time to sort and put away. And like I said previously, this is the sentimental box shelf. And as you can see, it is full. So I was trying to figure out where to put the rest of it. And I ended up going with just keeping it at the same general level, just like right next to the shelf on that little table thing. Um, but gosh, we're not even halfway through this garage and that's all the sentimental boxes we found. So we have a lot of work to go, but we'll get through it. Now, another uh, thing I ran into was the blanket collection. They were keeping all of these blankets for the kitty cats that live outside. Uh, they live out in the country. And so she will um, often get little kitty cats that come up to the house looking for food. And so her recent adoptions, uh, they live in the garage at night because she doesn't want them running around and getting hit on the highway. But uh, obviously it gets really cold during the winter. So she has all these blankets in boxes to create them little like nests in the winter to sleep in. So we were just going through all those blankets. I'd say she got rid of like three fourths of the blankets and sheets that she had because she just had so many boxes of them. She didn't even realize she had that many. So uh, we got those all collected, got that sorted and pared down for what she needs for this winter. And then obviously anything she doesn't use or doesn't need, we can get rid of after that. Uh, but she did such a good job getting rid of and going through all of the cat related stuff. And even some of the stuff that she wanted to keep uh, from the last episode for the cats, she ended up getting rid of while I was gone because she decided that they were too too icky and too old that she just wanted to use fresh stuff for them. So really good progress. And right now we are sorting holiday um, outdoor decor. So we have a whole section on the inside of her house that is all indoor holiday decor, but everything out in the garage is outdoor decor. So as we were going through all this, I was kind of just setting it on this shelf to keep it out of the way so at the end of the day we could sort it all out into boxes. And she did such a good job decluttering other stuff that we had all of these empty white totes that she had got to store things. So we just transferred a bunch of the holiday decorations into these for storage, which worked out really great because that's way better than a cardboard box to prevent moisture damage and all that sort of thing. So right now I'm just sorting those and we're about to get into labeling because that's going to be a huge part of this is getting everything labeled so it's really easy for her to find the stuff that she wants to use because obviously that's a that's a recurring problem in this garage is losing where things are at so as you can see we have some fall decor and some Christmas decor and the way I'm gonna put these on the shelves is you know for the upcoming holiday stuff so obviously we have right now we have fall decor which I put like the most easily accessible section and then I put Christmas right next to that because that's what's going to follow it up so you know just kind of thinking ahead for organization and easy accessibility
So I'm going to show you guys a quick clip of some stuff that we were getting rid of. Uh, they had tons of boxes of these tins, and uh, they actually have somebody that uh, collects uh, vintage stuff. So she's going to be passing that along to them, but I wanted to quickly show this to you guys. <laughs> I meant to show this full um, offloading into these cardboard boxes, but my camera decided to die like right after this first box, and I didn't realize it. So uh, here's just a little quick... Uh, quick tin section, but they are super cool. If I was a collector of things, I uh, might have snagged some of these. Another thing we were really trying to sort out were her little boxes of projects and crafts that she wanted to do. Again, they got lost in the shuffle of the garage, and so you can see me here kind of talking to her, working out a timeline. And so we have a lot of her crafting stuff on the bottom shelf, and we put time limits on things. So like, we gave her until October of next year to complete these projects so that they don't just sit there forever and ever like if she wants to do them then she wants to get them done in this next year and give them out as gifts and if that doesn't happen then it's probably not going to so she would be willing to declutter them so that's kind of the uh, the uh, process of labeling we were doing for the crafting items just so that she can kind of get a sense of how long it takes to accomplish crafts and that sort of stuff all right, it's officially time for some before and afters. So here's a little look at where we started. Uh, a lot of things were just stacked on top of each other. So what we are really working towards is accessibility and organization along with decluttering, which we ended up doing three full car loads to Goodwill. So I was very excited with how much we decluttered, but as you can see, it's not a huge visual change, but as far as accessibility is concerned, she can get to everything she needs. She knows where it all is, and it's a huge step in getting this place organized and functional. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna call it quits on this declutter marathon. I feel like I included plenty of declutter motivation for one video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next week for probably another marathon video. All right, bye.